How is the interaction with, uh, with speed? Speed, yesterday. Yeah. So that's a very good question, Aki, yeah. because I wanted to talk about that or make some sort of a video talking about that, because I think there's a lot of points of advice that we can give to the Muslims based on the interaction that happened between me and Speed. And just to give context for the people who didn't like watch the interaction, it's available on my channel. It's called The Muslim Lantern. You can go watch the interaction. And uh, a couple of days ago, we do regular da'wah in, uh, basically in central London, right? We give free Qur'ans to the people and stuff like that. Yeah. And all of a sudden, just a group of Christians from Speaker's Corner, actually, they came, four or five people came. It was a Friday night. And they came to us with cameras. They want to engage with us or they want to disturb our da'wah. And I will release a video on, on what uh, our, my discussion with them, inshallah, right? Yeah. Then there was a sister next to me. She was also about to accept Islam. And then all of a sudden came a brother. Right? I don't know who he is, right? But Brothers told me later on, he's a, he's a very famous YouTuber, he's called Speed. I'm sure you, maybe you know who he is, right? So he came and, and uh, unfortunately the brother was walking in a very aggressive or I would say an arrogant way. And then he came and he interrupted the sister that was about to take her shahada. So I was asking him because he was, he was walking, I, I, was, I was shocked on the behavior that he came with. Because we had celebrities coming to Leicester Square before, we had different celebrities, football players and people like that. But I never seen anyone behave in that way, right? So I said to the brother, who are you? So then he said to me, Speed. So the first thing I, saw, I thought in my mind, is this guy joking? What do you mean by Speed? Is that, is that a real name, right? And then I, some people told me that he's a YouTube uh, uh, a troll or he does trolling videos on YouTube and stuff like that. So I said to him, if you're coming here to troll us as Muslims, then we're not, we're not really interested in that, right? For us as Muslims, our religion is more important than anything else. Allah Azza wa teaches us in the Quran that if anyone is trying to mock Islam or try to mock the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasalam, that we should not be engaging with those individuals. So for me, if he's coming here, this is what I thought in my mind, if he's coming here to troll Islam or to make some sort of a video mocking Islam, then I'm not gonna engage with that brother. And also the way he came interrupting the sister and stuff like that. But then he said, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not uh, trolling. I'm interested even though he had uh, like a large army behind him of young youngsters, right? And they were laughing for some reason, I don't know. So I thought he was joking. So I said to him, okay, are you Christian? And then I started having the discussion with him. Now, during the discussion, I was trying to explain to him about Islam. And then he said to me, I know about Islam. So I was shocked. So are you coming to learn about Islam or do you already know about Islam, right? So then the first thing he started saying is, uh, in Islam, you marry four or five wives, or he said some strange things, right? So it's available in the video. Right? So I was shocked. And then he, he, was, he was trying to say something. He said, judgment of day. And then he started on a word that he was trying to say. So I was trying, I was thinking he's mocking Islam. So I said to him, I made it very clear, if you're trying to mock Islam, or if you're trying to come here to make a content for entertainment, for people's entertainment, we're not really interested in that, right? So I was trying to make that point clear to him. Not necessarily that he's trolling or not, but I'm trying to make it clear to him that if you are thinking in your mind that you want to troll Islam, or you want to make a mocker, you want to make a, jo a joke to try to get views, that is not gonna happen here, right? And we have to be with that behavior. If you hear about someone, someone tells you this brother is a troll or he does trolling videos on YouTube, you've made up this kind of persona about yourself on YouTube. You uh, uh, convince the people, everyone who hears about you, everyone who knows about you thinks, thinks of you as a person who makes trolling videos. So if I behave with you as someone who might be trolling, you should not be offended if, of that happening because when we do actions in our life, then there's always consequences for our actions. If I put a certain image for people online, of course people will behave with me based on the image that I make online, right? And people need to understand something very important. Allah Azza wa Jal, he says in the Quran, in Surah Abasa to the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Salaam, Abasa wa tawalla an jaa'ahu al-a'ma. The Prophet Alayhi Salatu Salaam, he frowned from the blind man who was Abdullah ibn, ibn Umm Maktoum who came to the Prophet Alayhi Salaam because he thought that the people who came from Quraysh were more important. He thought the leaders of Quraysh, if they accept Islam, then the people behind them, they're more important. So Allah Azza wa Jal said to him, no, the man who came to you is more important. So for me, the sister that was about to accept Islam, that said, I want to accept Islam, is more important than someone I didn't know who comes and he kind of interrupted the interaction that was taking place. And the first thing that he said is, I love Allah. So, uh, and then he was joking and saying it in a laughing way. So I thought, are you, are you coming to joke or are you serious about Islam? Especially it was on a Friday night, you know? And on Friday night, we get a lot of drunk people, you know, unfortunately. And we get a lot of trolls and people who try to joke about Islam, right? So this is the context behind the discussion and what took place. What really shocked me and what I really, what, the reason I decided to, to make this video is, is the following. Is I saw an army behind him and unfortunately, most of them were Muslim kids. Most of, most of the people behind him were Muslim teenagers. And I was shocked when later on I started to watch the content of that brother. I realized that he makes, let me just say this in the most polite way, he makes unique content, right? So I was shocked. Why are Muslims 
watching the individuals. Why are Muslims elevating that brother? Of course, he's a non-Muslim, so we don't blame his behavior because he doesn't know what is true, what is wrong. We don't blame him. But as a Muslim, what is your excuse of watching the individual? I saw him making, making some videos that talks about like behaving in a homosexual way or stuff like joking in that way. And I, I was shocked. How are Muslims watching that brother and, and saying we love him and I love his videos and I love watching him? And the Prophet ﷺ, he gave us a very important advice that we should keep in mind. The Prophet ﷺ, he said, be keen on that which benefits you. As Muslims, as Muslim youth, as Muslim brothers and sisters, we should be keen on that that benefits us. If you watch it for entertainment, there is something called halal entertainment. If you say, okay, what do you learn from speed? You will say to me, I'm not learning anything. Okay, if you're not learning anything, you'll say you watch it for entertainment. There is halal entertainment, brother. Watch something that can be entertaining and in the same time can add benefits to your life. Allah Azza wa Jalla, he mentioned the characteristics of the believers. He said, They refrain away from lagh, from ill speech, from, from nonsense and all of this stuff. Allah Azza wa Jalla said the believers, when he spoke about them in the Quran, he said they refrain, they refrain from this type of behavior. They refrain from that type of speech. So my advice is to all Muslim brothers and sisters, also another very important point, is that Muslims spoke about, they said don't judge the brother. And this is a very big misconception that we have as Muslims that we need to learn. That they took that from the West. They think that in Islam, you don't judge anyone at all. That's not correct. In Islam, we do judge the people. And in the narration in the Athar in, in Sahih al-Bukhari of Umar ibn Khattab, he said we used to judge at the time of the Prophet And we judge today. What do we judge upon? The behavior or the interaction or what you show me in your appearance. If you come to me without any clothes at all, I will judge you what I see from you, right? I'm not going to say, okay, I'm not going to judge that brother. Of course, I will judge what I see from your apparent, right? So if the brother came in a boastful, arrogant way, aggressive way, of course, he will have a reaction based on, on the way that he came, especially if I don't know who he is. And even if I know who he is, we should carry ourselves in a humble way, right? And as Muslims, we, we don't have an obligation to treat anyone specially just because he's famous on YouTube, on YouTube or famous on that. Or some people thought that, okay, you missed a big opportunity with the brother. What opportunity? Islam is growing whether I'm there or not. Islam is growing whether the brother is there or not. Islam is growing whether any of us are trying to do something or not. No one will precede Islam or make Islam grow just because of him as an individual. Allah Azza wa is the one who uses the people, right? The interaction happened and I tried to speak to the brother about Islam and I made in, in my video an invitation to him. I said to the Muslims, if you try to get the video to him, if he wants to have a, a, like a serious discussion in which you know you're not coming with a character on camera, but you actually you're coming to learn about Islam. You want to know about the teachings of Islam. We're more than happy uh, to teach you. But as Muslims, we do judge the apparent of, of a person. And if I show a specific behavior to the people, then I shouldn't be shocked when that individual uh, responds in a way that in, in, in accordance to the behavior that I'm showing. Right? But anyways, I, I sincerely made dua for the brother when, he, when I know he, he, who, who he was and I was happy that the brother came. I said, Alhamdulillah, it might be a chance for the people who watch him and uh, for the people who listen to him to get some benefit and learn that Islam is more important. We should be keen on that which benefits us and we should use our time properly and we should have Islam as our priority. Doesn't matter who you are, you're not allowed to try to play a character and demean Islam or mock Islam in a specific way or act in a way that in a joking mannerful way. And some brothers, they said, this is the last point that I want to end on. They said, this is his character. I've watched a video of his that one of the brothers sent me of him and the Muslim YouTuber called Chunks. In that video, he was not with that character. He was very humble. He was listening to Chunks when Chunks was speaking to him. He was engaging as an individual, which would show me as a person that this was a character, a form of character he plays. I'm not blaming him for it. Of course, he's a non-Muslim and he believes that he gets views by doing that. And he is going to get him views and he's successful in the dunya. There's no doubt about that, right? So he's benefiting from the behavior and the persona that he's putting. But for us as Muslims, we have different balance that we weigh the people with, which is the Quran and the Hadith and the actions of the companions, how the companions understood the Quran and the Sunnah. This is our way as Muslims. This is how we should judge the individuals. And may Allah Azza wa give us all beneficial knowledge and, and keep us on the truth. So is that it or do you have any other? Uh, no, that's okay, it. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.